Early this morning, we were talking about our little dog, Frankie, and he is a high dollar dog. Half something, half something. Wait, wait, wait. You say high dollar like it's not a good thing. I'm talking about every dog we got wandered up, and they were loyal and fun and sweet. And then we break down and buy a dog that's non allergic. And it's been. uh, (laughs) What do you mean, non allergic? He can be around peanuts? (laughs) What does that mean? They, they, a non allergy something, something dog. I guess they hypoallergenic. That's what I'm that talking about. He was conceived okay, in a lab. It means that in a the laboratory. kids aren't allergic to him. And he conceived in a laboratory. No, and his he was uh, not. yeah, in a petri dish. That's where oh, they that's keep not... this dude because he uh, the, his fur won't come off. Uh, he doesn't <laughs> shed. All <laughs> these kinds of things, and because of that, he's okay. one of those little nervous, yappy inside dogs. I know I'm. You're hearing a little duck commander tone here but I, I like labs i like outdoor dogs mm-hmm. this is sadie my daughter's dog a little nervous white fluffy dog supposed to be pretty smart you're gonna hurt sadie's feelings if she hears this yeah she's, she's gonna be unfortunately all like, she has heard that yeah she says why why don't you why, how come you and frankie can't bond well but, so here's the deal we've got dennis rainey on the phone to help you work out your family <laughs> issues it's gonna take dennis uh, rainey and dr phil to get me to uh to warm up to Frankie, but here's the deal. I will give him props for this. My wife, expecting twins, uh, shortly after she was uh, pregnant, the little dog started showing her extra attention, staying close to her belly, and stays on the couch with her. When she goes to bed, he's never slept in our room, comes in there, lays down on the rug. So there is something about animals. Boy, God gave them a a little... uh, Kind of that little intuition thing. And no, he says, I know hey, what it is. I got to guard Mama here because she's carrying. She's got some babies on board. No, I know why. Look, remember, you got Melanie that cream so she wouldn't get all the stretch marks, and it's made <laughs> from hush? bacon grease. <laughs> <laughs> and so that <laughs> so, you hush? Oh, he's my. smelling bacon. <laughs> you see why we can't air this during prime time? We got to do this little bootleg. Have this little broadcast in the alley. Away from all of the this is where, where the cameras. regular radio people don't get to hear this that, mess. That's exactly Welcome right. to my brain. All right, changing gears. Can you smell bacon? Super Bowl. Uh-huh. Uh, one time of the year when we get to use Roman numerals. And, and it shows how dumb we are when you have the X and the V and you carry the L. No, who knows about Roman numerals? You carry used, the L. You used to know that when you had cartridge pens and you had the writing cursive and part of uh, being all smarter was knowing Roman numerals. Not anymore. What Super Bowl is this? What I have number? no clue. We've been really. We, no, I don't even know. We've been distracted. Forty nine. Is it forty nine again? <laughs> 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 I thought last year was forty nine. It's not a not a lady's age. Or what are the what are the numbers? Because I need a big grandfather clock in front of I me. I don't know. I can I read can, it. I can't speak. No, it. I'm saying is it an X or a L or a couple of yep. Bs? What yep, is it? It's one of those. Yeah, Some okay. of those combination. But once you get past five, you put the numbers in front of the bigger numbers. So that means it will be an X with one. So it ends in I X, and forty is right before five. Five See, is a V. I don't know if you're making all this. Up I'm not or... making it up. So it will be I V I X. Is that right, Travis? I'm no, not sure. I've you're... got a chart, but not the Super Bowl number in yeah. front of me. Well, fine. Look up. Just Google real quick. What's Roman number? I had 49? an IV once, and it had nothing to do with uh-huh. Super Bowls. They were just trying to keep me alive. Your doctor knew Latin, though. So 49, 49. apparently is X L I X. The nine L I X I X. Yeah. So I had. I V is going to be four if I's in front of it. You have to back up one. V is five. Ten before. Wow. X. It's a, it always it changes when we the didn't talk leap about year. this on the air. Yeah. Hey, speaking of which, Super Bowl weekend. Hope your team wins. Enjoy the snacks. Favorite recipes. Can I throw in my little Super Bowl uh, funny before we shove off? Sure. While Super Bowl was going on, there's another game between the big animals and the small animals. Big animals crushing little ones. Halftime coach gives this passionate speech to the little animals. Well, the start of the second half, big animals have the ball. First play, the elephant got stopped for no gain. Second play, the rhino was stopped. Third down, the hippo was thrown for a five-yard loss. Defense huddled around the coach. He was so excited. Who stopped the elephant? I did, said the centipede. Well, who stopped the rhino? 
Ah, uh, that was me too, said the centipede. How about the hippo, who hit him for a five-yard loss? Well, that was me as well, said the centipede. So where were you during the first half, demanded the coach. Well, said the centipede, I was having my ankles taped. <laughs> I've heard that joke before. <laughs> you know, it doesn't get funnier the more you tell it. Because my brain goes into a whole different... You're thinking the about thing. the centipedes turning into butterflies and then not no. being able to play football those, ever again. Those, those are caterpillars. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. Uh, you know, exactly. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> I was thinking away. about that's not possible. That rhinoceros would just... <laughs> would squish him. Fiction. So I start making your jokes reality, and I got to quit doing that. Yeah. Anyway... Okay, well, what? Have a good Travis, weekend. Wait a minute, There's Travis. one more thing. There's what? a yes. possibility that next week we may have twins here. And earlier you caught up with Max Lakato. Oh, yeah. Hey, Max Lakato has a new book out. You need to check it out. It's a novel, so a little different for him. Uh, we had an interview, and while we were just checking the, the, the levels of the mics, I was asking how his family was doing, and then he reciprocated. And I said, oh, by oh, the way. Now i got to Google another word. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, It has to do with the rhino stepping okay. on a smaller player. <laughs> he said, uh, How's, how are things for you? I said, good. Oh, by the way, we have, we're expecting twins any day. He started to laugh, the most jolly laugh, because he really is. He's been a pastor for so many years, been married forever to Dinah Lynn, and just America's pastor. And you know he's just so kind-hearted. But he just... Kept laughing, kept laughing. In fact, if we can drop this in here, I, I think you're going to enjoy Max Licato's response to the news that we have twins on the way. Just quick, are you doing okay? Yes, sir. Doing well. Thank you for asking. This is a good season for us. In fact, we are expecting twins any day now. <laughs> so uh, the Lord's full of surprises. <laughs> when I announced it in staff... Tim Wildman said he was going to call me Jabraham. So, uh, <laughs> isn't the oh, Lord good? Your heart. We were wonderfully and fearfully surprised. This is all good. And, and the book is doing well, Losing Cooper, Finding Hope to Grieve Well. Thank you again for your endorsement of the book. That was a, somebody of your caliber. Yeah. That really means a lot. Thank you, Max. Well, well, you've got to. You're an, you're an inspiration to all of us. Well, thank you, sir. Okay, so that's it. That is the end of our, what do we, do we have a name for this? We need a name for this, and here's where you get to come in. If you've listened to this whole thing, you get to throw name suggestions oh, out. Oh, I like that. And whoever that. picks the best name or just one we like, it may not even be the best. It might be the worst, and we go with that one. Who knows? But whichever name we go with for the show then we'll give you credit and we'll send them no, some stuff. We're not giving them credit. We're stealing that part. <laughs> but we will send you something. So there's that. You'll get something. 